Chicago to visit the Shedd Aquarium and see all of their awesome fish and whatever else they have in store for us today. Here is the first building we see. We just entered Chicago. Look at how many mirrors that building was made out of. In this shot, I don't know if you noticed, John G made Shed Aquarium. And if you look sideways, you'll see Shed Aquarium Underwater Beauty Shed. Now we're inside of the Shed Aquarium, and this is the first duck we see. We also saw fish in this tank, but they were under the water and it was not very good light. confused when I said the Shed Aquarium and I showed you ducks. Why was that? Because this Shed Aquarium has multiple different things. I'm going to show you some of the fish now. Have you ever seen a stingray and wonder what the bottom of them looks like? Well that's what they looked like and this is what the top of the stingray looks like. I know I said I was going to show you some fish but I just couldn't help not showing you this adorable little bird. Comment below if you know what that bird is, because I don't. You were one of those people who said, Oh, but I wanted to see the fish. Here's a video of a bunch of fish for you. I'm sorry that you can see my reflection through the window and all the people who were walking by but I didn't notice that when I was taking the video because I was just standing back and watching the video through my camera and having a gay old time. And if you still weren't satisfied with that, I'll give you one more video. One more as in one more for now. I'm definitely gonna show you more. Look at how vibrant that orange fish is. Isn't he just awesome? He is a he or she. That little fish is just crazy. I'm not sure if that is a fish. It really looks like one and it doesn't. Very colorful. And that, I really like that picture because it has all of that awesome contrast in the background and in the foreground. Would you say it's time for some video footage? I would. And here this fish is. He might appear dead to you, but he is not dead. That is a living fish, and so is that. They both are very still, but they're not dead. How about this video clip? That shark is very funny. This video footage, I was just standing back in this awesome room and they had some awesome music and I was just listening to the music and letting my camera take this video footage. For this video footage, I was shooting with my Nikon 3400 with my 18 to 55 millimeter lens. It's a great combination if you're just going to take a wide span video. I would recommend it for everybody, even if they aren't photographers, even if they're just taking videos of random stuff. This video footage was shot with my Nikon 3400 attached to my 18 to 55 millimeter lens. Comment below if you think that you would like that combination. Back to some awesome photos. That fish is just spectacular. This fish was leaning in for a close look at us. Look at all of those fish. Believe it or not, when I said fish, that was actually true. This is all made out of fish. And here is another awesome fish who is just peeking his head through a curve in the rock. That fish got a little bit 
bit closer and I seized the opportunity and took this awesome photo. One little fish, it looks like its eyes might be a little bit too big for its head and its body. But look at that fish in the upper left corner. Its eyes are just as big. I wonder what's up with those eyes. Comment below if you can spot the fish. I'm going to tell you in three, two, one, fish is right in the middle. Look at this fish. It almost doesn't even look like a fish. I wonder what it looks like. It just doesn't look like a fish. kind of looks like the mixture between a turtle and a fish. And the always awesome lion fish appears on scene next. Remember, all these photos are taken with my 300 to 700 lens attached to the Nikon D3400. In this shot, there are three different lionfish, all in the same picture. I love that picture. And here's that shark from Jaws. Not actually the same shark, but a shark. It reminds me of Jaws. Another picture of a shark. I don't quite know what shark it is, but I really like these pictures of them. This next picture I also like because the sun is streaming down through the water and there's a tail, an ominous tail, slicing through the water in the bottom left corner. And this is another awesome fish. And I would totally recommend going to the Shedd Aquarium where I got all of these awesome photos. Here's one more of that fish. And th in this shot, it looks like the sun is reflecting right off of that left side of the fish, right next to its fin. Now this fish is very, very vibrant, but not as vibrant as the next photo. The next photo, is a rainbow fish. It's not actually called a rainbow fish, but I think it should be called a rainbow fish because of all those amazing colors on the side of it. And on its eye. That eye looks very awesome too. And look at this orange fish. I don't even know what that fish is called, but it looks awesome. Remember that previous video clip that I said that shark was really funny? Well, here that same shark is in a couple of pictures. And this little fish, I really like it because you can see the reflection of the top of it with a little bubble in it, and it looks like that fish is blowing some air out, which really adds some awesome contrast to the picture. And this awesome rainbow colored fish. I don't know what it is, but I still really like this photo. Remember to comment below and tell me if you had a favorite situation or photo that I took today. And this is the always awesome seahorse. But I think it's one of those like dragon seahorse. And this was in um, their, the Shed Aquarium's special, which was their um, Halloween special. I don't know if you if you come there on any other time. I don't think they would have these out. But again, the Shed Aquarium is an awesome place for any photographer wants to have a great day and experience some awesome wild fish. Well, not wild fish, but some awesome fish. And here's the always awesome jellyfish. And these are just some really neat photos of this jelly 
I really love these photos because of how much in focus they are and how much detail the, the um, Nikon 3400 shows. There's just one more of that awesome jellyfish as it darts away from me into the water. And here's another species of jellyfish. This one I do not know what, call, what it's called at all. And this is the same exact um, this is the same exact jellyfish as the one before. I'm going to show you two more. This one and one more. This next shot I really like because look at all of those little stringy tentacles coming out from it and it is in so much detail. This fish is like sparkly and it looks a little, the form of it looks a little like an arrowhead to me. That fish would be really fast. I would not recommend trying to catch that fish in a fish net because I think it's mainly impossible. And here's one more fish that's darting in and out of the weeds. It's a great way to end our day. And we end our day with this always awesome beluga whale. And in this shot, to end our day, the beluga whale is celebrating with one final blow of air out of its air hole. Remember to subscribe to my channel and add a like. It will go into helping 333 Photography, which is my website, get more awesome photos of wildlife and make some more awesome videos for you to enjoy. Have a great day and remember to press the like button.